And now the details. Police in Newcastle County are assuring the public tonight that the murder of a preschool teacher is an isolated incident. They have not revealed how she died, but we're learning new information tonight about a potential person of interest. Action reporter Becca Hendrickson is live in Fairfax, Delaware with the very latest. Becca. Rick and Shari, I just spoke with police a couple minutes ago where they told me there is now a person of interest in this homicide. They're assuring the public this was an isolated incident. Meanwhile, the friends and family of this beloved preschool teacher are asking for answers in her murder. A cross at this spot where the body of 63 year old Cynthia Mafetana was found honors her as a mom for mommy and family. At Concord Preschool and Child Care, she's remembered as the heart and soul of a community who helped raise generations of families around Wilmington. What's the story about how her life ended and why she's not with us? So just, you know, needing to know. The mystery began last month. Police did a wellness check at her home after she didn't show up to work. Officers found her car, purse and cell phone, but not Cynthia. Newcastle County Police pushed out a gold alert listing her as missing. That picture was her bright. You know, she lit up a room wherever she was. Last Tuesday, police say a body was found by Skyline Drive at Carousel Park in Pike Creek, a short walk from Cynthia's home. The next day, police announced it was Cynthia and her death was being investigated as a homicide. The news rattled the entire community, especially those at the daycare where she worked for 24 years. Energetic, Fun, love the kids, easy to talk with. The church held a vigil over the weekend. Her loved ones want answers about what happened to their friend. A lot of folks who were really affected by this and knew her and loved her and just miss her deeply right now. Again, police say they now have a person of interest in this case. I've also reached out to the medical examiner for more information about how she died, the cause of death, and I'm waiting to hear back. Live in Fairfax, Delaware, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6, Action News. Guys, yeah, let's hope they make progress. Becca, thanks.